It was the exact same thing. It was on Thursday nights at 1030. But they wanted to go more. Uh, I was putting, uh, you know, I don't mean this to sound the way it's going to sound, but at Juilliard, once you go there, you are dedicated to bringing good music to the public. I thought that's what I was doing. They didn't want so much good music. They wanted uh, more comedy. And I didn't know as much about comedy as I did about good music. And I was very reluctant to do it. So they changed it to a nightclub setting. Steve Binder shot it. And it was like a rock concert, which he did many of them later. And it was just not me. I know that Zsa, Zsa Gabor came in on a horse with a sway back. And it was, I didn't, I didn't understand what it was. It, it didn't, more comedy, more comedy. Well. I'm not as comfortable, I can do comedy, but I'm more comfortable with things that I know. And uh, I, I did not like that that way, but we, we did. We had uh, fine, fine musicians always. They were always the best musicians. But here's Edie was on from 62 to 63. It was on from April. It was a, what I called the pilot show of Here's Edie. And it, then in sept by September, they had picked it up. And we started in September with Here's Edie in New York, the Duke Ellington show, in December in London. And then we did uh, a, a Vegas. I did my Vegas act in, in one. And I had a, a Western show with Hoagie Carmichael. And they're all the best musical people I could find on the shows. And, uh, but Laura, they didn't want music anymore. They wanted comedy, right? Yes, and I, I had Lawrence Melchior and... Uh, not Lambert, Hendricks, and Roth, but I had Hendricks and whatever, and I had Basie, and we would do everything, and I would have him in the, in the tails, and I tried to get Basie in tails, and he said no, and after the show, he said, I known what she's trying to do, honey. I put them tails on her for you. <laughs> That's cute. So, how long did the Edie Adams show run? That ran through uh, 63, every other uh, uh, week and then into part of 64. And who were some of the other guests you said Zsa was on? Oh, Zsa was on, and uh, Andre Previn, um, Duke Ellington, um, Bobby Darren, uh, Rowan and Martin, uh, Pete Fountain, uh, the, other, the trumpet guy uh, from New Orleans, Nancy Wilson I sang duets mm. with, Sammy Davis, uh, did they have writers on the show? Did they have scripts? No. Well, little old me. Well, then how did they expect to get the comedy that they wanted? I didn't want to do comedy. Oh, okay. But then I got some uh, some heavyweight comedy guys from New York, but it was a little esoteric. They wanted 10, 20, 30, and I didn't know whether I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> you mean I, uh, performers or writers? Writers, performers, uh -huh. writers, last performers. Mm -hmm. I just saw uh, they're, they're writing plays. They were very, very good. But they didn't want anything. Uh, I don't know. They, I, I just didn't feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Then I had Dick and Dan, Rowan and Martin on a lot. They used to be my opening act in Vegas. And I used to love it because they'd come in whistling with the tux and I'd come in with these crates of clothes and dancing people and all kinds of things. But um, the music was, uh, was... And the best guys, when I play the shows, the musicians go, oh, there's... Oh, they're, they're like jazz greats. They're, everyone is an, an artist. And uh, they, when they play, the, it, the music is fine.